two-point lead. That's the good news, and two for two of 12 from three. So they're going to get better there. And that illegal screen by Akongwu is what's getting to heat the ball here in the half court. Deadman on a twisting score. And Dwayne Deadman has given Miami some turnovers. And with Duncan having two fouls in his role coming, uh, a little bit more time, a little more opportunity to, to work himself into the game here and be that 11 of their 13 triples. Yeah, those are a couple really clean three-point looks that Gabe Vincent, who's a sharpshooter, typically makes. Kevin Herter from downtown. Now, Kevin Herter, who had nine points in game two. I mean, instead of a shooting foul. Both players had a little case of playoff grief, but it's got to be momentary. you got to keep moving. Butler for Deadman. Look out below. A crushing right-handed Jamie's 11 made uh, field goals. Six lead changes here in the first half. Bogdanovich using glass. Gets it back for the score. Well, he's a guy on both ends of the floor. Bit of a slow start offensively. 0 for 3 beyond the arc. Had a couple good looks there, but his defense is much needed. Hunter got it. Six points. Game 1, he had 16 in Game 2. Hawks with their biggest lead so far tonight. They're ahead by three. Hero from the corner, kaboom. That was soft <laughs> and sweet. Love that lift though. On it tonight, Tyler Hero. Right now, he's two of four beyond the arc on the six points. Herter knocks it down. Our second team foul in the quarter on Mayan. Trey Young's on the bench right now, by the way. Two point lead for Atlanta. DeLon Wright. Oh, a Congo knocked Robinson down with a screen. A second on the shot clock. Right with a rebound. Oh, right with the score. Steal. Here comes Wright. And Atlanta has their largest lead. Self Duncan just creates so much speed coming off those screens. Seven. Well, they outscored Miami up until these free throws. Turnovers. He celebrates his 28th birthday. Makes all three from the strike. Deep. That's almost a turnover there. Making the Hawks play a little faster, more uncomfortable. Um, Kongu. Well, he got a little comfort back. Hero to the corner, unloads, and scores. Tyler Hero looking in rhythm. Got eight points off the heat bench tonight. Also three first half assists for Tyler Hero. Yeah, hearing him talk about the first two games, they've been much more physical with him. Offensive foul there, John, on Hunter. Yeah, and they've, and they've also rushed him a bit, and he looks much more comfortable. We haven't seen him get rushed all year long, Tyler Hero, and really good attacking the basket here to start this half. Boy, Kyle Lowry taking in. a chance. Woo. Taking a chance, John, with Whoa. three fouls. Pick up that fourth, and he's on the on the bench maybe all through the, the third quarter. Uh, John, well, John, what's your thought on Eric Spolstra leaving him in with three fouls? Gutsy. Gutsy call here by your head coach, Eric Spolstra, and showing his trust and, and the discipline that, that Kyle Lowry has to show, and that right there could have uh, been disastrous. Lowry in reach in, but you just worry, you know, when you have that many fouls, just being in any kind of bang bang play, you're you're always concerned the officials may also rope him into it. So he's showing a lot of trust. He wants the, his point guard to be impactful here. He's got to be smart, not picking up that fourth. Shows you not only trust, but the importance of a pivotal game through. Ball moves from Miami. Hero to the paint, keeps it, finishes. Tyler Hero doing what he does best, attacking for scores. And an excellent ball movement series there from the right corner to Tyler. I love the fake at the end there to get the layup. Gallinari gets a layup. He'll get two free throws, and he went down in a heat. Meanwhile, Tyler Hero picking up the baton from Jimmy Butler. Butler scored 11 in the first quarter, and now Hero has 10 points with seven coming in the second quarter. That foul was on Duncan Robinson for Robinson. It's his third personal for the Heat. It's their fourth team foul. Now we've seen Tyler get it done in that second quarter uh, throughout the course of the season where he's been more featured. He's had more plays run for him in their catch and shoot series, setting screens from the baseline. John Collins in, and Yeka Akangu out, and here's a message from the Florida Lottery. Times the cash games offer more ways to multiply your winnings. They're the most extreme. Eight points for Gallinari, a three-point lead for Atlanta with just under six minutes left. Second quarter of 
game number three here at State Farm Arena in downtown Atlanta. Lowry, an open three. Oh, Miami cannot buy a triple. Three for 16 shooting from downtown. DeLon Wright streaking in for the score. Oh, my, what quickness. DeLon Wright. Had two steals in each of the first two games. He's got two scores here in the second quarter of this game. Well, he's given them a great lift of energy and production off the bench for Atlanta with those slashing drives. Hero on a flip to Struess. Back to Tyler for a long run. Rebound to Trey Young. Trey Young lets it fly. And hits. First triple of the night for Trey Young, just his third three-pointer of the series, and it gives Atlanta an eight-point lead. They've scored seven unanswered points. 29-footer there. Talk about stretching the defense with that range. Trey Young trying to get himself going. Bam from the elbow. Right with the rebound. Atlanta had 46 to 38. B.J. Tucker's back in, defending Bogdanovich. Don't foul him, Kyle. Oh, he poked it through. Kyle Lowry is a daring defender, a gambler. Bogdanovich for three. He has nine points, and Atlanta is ahead by 11. Bam underneath. Got to come out with him. Lowry into the corner. Shoes for three. Got it. Oh, that's a, a big 